Hey guys, this is Geeks Carnage, and today I'm talking about the little hardware and the software of the iPad. It's going to be a little review, a little more of a tour. Alright, to start off, here's the iPad, the screen. That's the first thing you see. The iPad has a 9.7 inch screen diagonally. Alright, it's 1024 by 768. Alright, it has 256 megabytes of RAM, and that iPod has a, a custom 1 gigahertz A4 ARM processor. Alright. Here's the lock. Lock sleep. 3.5 from jack. The mic right there. I have a 30 pin connector. The speakers. And the volume rocker slash mute. If you hold it down for a few seconds, or about half a second, it'll mute. It is the screen rotation lock right there. All right, let's get onto the software. Here's a lock screen. First thing you see here is this little icon right there. Press it. This becomes a digital photo frame. In this case, you can hold it up, sit it on a table, and it's a digital photo frame. All right. Click it again. Turn it off. Slide to unlock. Here's a here's the enter password screen, a little pop up. There we go. First thing you see, it's in landscape. You can also put in portrait mode, and you can also lock it with this. That's now it's locked, it can't turn. Alright. Now we're working, just gonna go through the stock applications. Thing I really don't like Apple. Apple didn't bring out those applications like voice recorder, weather, clock. I hope they bring it out. In another update, because I like clock and weather. And we're just going to start with the calendar. Here we go. You can search for your events. You can go from days, which I like. It's a day planner. Um, weeks, months, and a list of all your events. You can scroll fast here. Go from months, September 2010, go back to April. You add something like, let's see, birthday starts April 22nd. There we go, April 22nd. Turn on all day or end the day. Done. I'll be right here. You can choose between events on the little calendar here. You can double tap it and it'll go to the main day. Here's the events that happen on this day. You can delete like that. Search for events like so. That's about it for the calendar. Let's go to contacts. They upgrade the contacts right here. You can, if you have lots of contacts, you can use search or you can scroll it with this alphabetical slider right here. Just slide but I don't have enough I don't have enough contacts on us to do that. Alright, you can edit. You can press done. You can share through email. You can add edit delete that's about it for the contacts. Next, we're going to notes. Here we go, notes. It will show all the notes you have here. This is like a little, little note. It's a notepad, but like I said with the other applications, they put a lot of detail in this, like the little stitching all around it. And as I can say with other application, you can see the torn pages right there. I don't, can't see with this count, but right, right there. Now with this, you can it's like it's like Notepad on iPhone. Let's just go to add a new one. Hello, this is my iPad. And a little new feature here. 
if you click on the miscorrected word, you can just fix it. Hello, there you go. Or you can delete. You can share through email. You can search through your long list of notes if you have them. That's about it for notes. Let's go to maps. Maps is basically the same thing, but much, much bigger. We have the search bar up here. Bookmarks. Locate me. Directions and search. As usual, flip this up. Get classic satellite hybrid terrain. Overlays and drop pin. That's about it for maps. Let's go to videos. I don't know why can't they combine the videos in the iPod, but that's, that's how they like it. Basic. Right here, if you have more videos, you'll get each tile. Click it. And this is Modern Family. If you press this play button, it'll play. I'm not going to show it because it's copyright reasons, but over here to show the details. Right here, the full detail. A little thumbnail right here. Shows the date. It's HD. I gotta say, the video looks amazing on the iPad. It's so clear. It's, like eight, it's HD clear, alright? That's about it for the video application. Let's go to YouTube. YouTube got a big facelift through the iPad. Here it goes, as usual. It's featured. All the featured videos right here. You can search with them with the search bar up here. Top rated. Today, this week, all. Most viewed today, this week, and all search your favorites and favorites and playlists. Your subscriptions show up on the side. It doesn't show all of them, but shows a good amount of them. All your subscription videos are beat on the side right here. Your videos and history. These are my videos. My videos just go in the iPad unboxing. Right here, a play. A little bar here, skip, fast forward, pause, bookmark, make screen bigger. There's a scroll bar right here. And if you do this, just a little pinch to make it smaller. And you can get this little more information page. Here's your description right here. Shows how much views it got, stars, show the user's name, it was uploaded tags and over here you'll have a little sidebar like on YouTube related more from you can subscribe here just press a button right there comment just comment as usual like what's in my video but hey send there you go it says hey right there there and also you have more options in the video Right here, you got add playlists or favorites, share, rate, flag, but don't flag. Please don't flag. And that's about it for the video application. Just play, that's about it. Next, iTunes. iTunes got a little, a little bit of a facelift. Facelift. Here we have the music page. We'll feature right there. Top charts, genius, search bar up here, movies, TV shows, podcasts. I like Major Nelson podcasts. Yeah, audiobooks, iTunes University, and downloads. Your downloads show up here while it's downloading, and also get your purchase tab right there. Now we go to App Store. Here we go. The App Store got big upgrade to display in the big full glory of the iPad. The more real estate right here. I I downloaded the Opera Mini browser. Here we have the featured. This shows all the featured applications. Ooh, Mirror's Edge is out. 
I'll show the in the spotlight apps up in a cover flow like this. Magic Piano is a pretty good app also. Got What's Hot right here. They also show up in the cover flow up here. Cool apps right here. What's Hot Aquarian. Top charts right here. Got your paid application side. You got your free application side. I mostly download free applications because the iPad applications are that expensive. You got your search bar up here. Got your categories. You can just browse through categories like from books, entertainment to news, games, and weather, utilities. And you got your updates. Your updates will show a page with the description and the little icon right here. Press free, download, or update all. That's it for the App Store. Let's see. Now you got Safari. You got Safari. Loads well, of full pages quite fast. A Techno Buffalo blog right here where I can like, watch my videos. What I like about this little YouTube box is right here. Press play and it'll play in the box right there. Have a little scroll bar right here to play. Maximize button. You have to do this like in the YouTube app. Here. Make it small. And also here we got a bookmarks bar. So like in any other browser, which is really cool. You can add bookmarks, add to home screen, mail a link, these are about the same. Add to bookmark. You can add it. Go to bookmark bar. Save and it'll show up right here. Like in the iPhone, there's a bar down here, but all that stuff was moved up here. Got the add to add bookmark. Your bookmarks are right here. Display this little pop up right here. Your tabs right here. You add a new page. Google. Go page. Exit out that page. Go back to your page quite fast. You got your go back, go forward. About it for Safari. It doesn't play fat flash, but that's okay. It still looks beautiful when it loads fast. Next, we go to mail. In mail, you look at your mail. This is it. this is it in landscape mode. I quite like it because you can look at your emails on the side in preview. And they can go into the full email right here. That was it quite fast. This is my weird email can that's I've had for years we can have write a new email pop it right here display you got your two subject get your stuff from iPad cancel you got here reply forward delete it'll delete like that cool animation you can move it into different folders and if you put it in portrait mode just to bring it down be like this. There we go. And if you click up here, a pop up will show the little emails. Like that. And you can delete them quite fast. Press edit. Just to click them, and they'll show up back here. Just press delete down here. Delete or move. There you go, it's deleted. Now the email application is pretty cool. I use it a whole bunch. That's why I use the iPad for a lot of emails. All right, that's about it for the email application. It's it's not unified, but it might come in the 4.0 software. Here we go. We're going to photos application. It gives the photos, and you can go to albums. A little preview it. Eh, don't put that back. Go to photos, you can look at all your photos like this. Scroll them through this little scroll bar right here. Right here. You can zoom into them. If you want to preview the photo, just go like this. Like that. Just put it back. You put it back like that. You can go to albums. Preview it open it, preview it, close it. 
and some other options for slideshow. You can play your own music through the iTunes library. I don't, I don't have any music on it right now. You can have different transitions as Cube, Dissolve, Ripple, Wipe, and Origami. Start a slideshow. I got Origami on there, looks pretty good. Close. You can delete pictures. That's about it for the Photos application. Now we're going to go to the iPod. iPod changed a lot. I like it. It's mini iTunes. You got your volume right here. You got your play. Skip backwards, skip forward. You got your search. You can search your iTunes music. Your music will come in tiles like that. Oh, this is for purchase. You got audiobooks, podcasts, and music. You can add playlists. Playlists will come right up right there. You can add songs. Get sources done. You can add your own genius playlists on the iPad itself. And that's about it. That was the iPod application. Now we're going to go to settings. Settings have the Wi Fi notifications, picture frame, you can show your dissolve, origami, it's quick transitions. If you have pictures with faces, you can zoom into faces, you can shuffle. The picture frame will show either from all photos or albums if you want to. General, you got your about, sounds. Turn the sounds off. Bluetooth and Bluetooth, they now support Bluetooth keyboards. Got your home day keyboard. International accessibility, battery percentage. You can turn your battery percentage on or off, just like the iPhone 3GS. Your accessibility. You got your voiceover, which you can turn on for people with low hearing, I guess. Turn on. Voiceover on. Landscape. Home button to the left. Settings. Alert. Important. Voiceover changes the gestures used to control iPad. Are you sure you want to continue? Cancel. Portrait. Landscape. C cancel. Button. Voiceover off. You can change the speak. Rate. Slower. Faster. You change the pitch. Also, accessibility, we got white on black. Is this, if you want to send out sun, just read it in the black. Mono. Audio. Speak audio text right there, triple home, click. You can change the accessibility, so press the home button. We got zoom, which is a cool feature on the Max. Turn on, you can double click with three fingers. Zoom. I like that. And your mail settings, Safari, which is the same. Got your iPod. Video, photos, and third party apps down here. And then we have brightness and wallpaper. Yes, you can have custom wallpapers on the iPad. Thank you, Apple. Now you can change the brightness, turn on auto brightness, turn it off. You can change the wallpaper for the lock screen and the home screen. Just change this to lock screen and this to the home screen. There we go. The home screen was changed. You can go into portrait mode, landscape mode, go to the lock screen. There we go. Two different wallpapers. Now, what if you want to use an iPhone application on the iPad? Here's the table for the iPhone. Click it. Loads up super fast. Play. Now, this is double the size. Click 1x, it'll go back down to the original size. You can play like this if you want, but it still looks great even when it's in double size. Still fast with the iPad, the processor, and RAM. Now you know some of the hardware, you know the software, the applications, you know how it works. So, th so thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and look for more videos. Thank you.